So apparently some notes from a GeForce RTX 5090 reviewer make it online. This was a review apparently of the 5090D video card, a Chinese video card. And this article here actually links to another article and that links to another one, to X and then to a Chinese site, chiphell.com. And this is translated from you know Chinese to English, so there could be some things lost in translation, but let's dive into this. And as always, I will provide links to each of these sources in the YouTube description down below. So the reviewer states that this generational leap in raw hardware performance between the RTX 5090 and its predecessor, the... 4090, or at least that's likely, is not significant. Now, the reviewer also emphasizes, and this is a very important point, the performance gains are primarily from using AI-powered features like DLSS and frame generation. There's also power consumption concerns because the 5090D hits power limits even at moderate speeds. And I would imagine this will be the same situation with the non-D, the non-Chinese version, which we will get here in North America and the rest of the world, suggesting that higher power limits might be necessary for future BIOS versions. And, uh, you know, if you are using this card and you're maxing it out, you're probably going to need to get a very powerful power supply. And certainly if you have a system built right now with maybe a 4080 or a 4090 or maybe a 4070, and you're thinking about upgrading to a 5090, you're more than likely going to have to get a very expensive power supply that is going to be able to handle this video card. Now, how about productivity performance? Well, the reviewer notes that there are no significant differences in productivity tasks like video encoding and decoding between the RTX 5090 and the 4090. Now, apparently, and this is rather troubling, the original thread was actually taken down. But, of course, anything that is posted online these days, even for a few seconds, somebody is going to grab it, and then there's going to be lots of articles and videos made about it. And in my opinion, it is very important to get the information, the true accurate information out there to consumers, because I'm sure you don't want to spend money on something that really isn't what you expected.